Once the Broadcaster Pro is connected and paired to your account, you can configure your settings. First, take a look at the display. This main display shows key information about the Broadcaster Pro while you are not live. The upper left corner indicates that we are currently plugged into power. If you are not plugged in, this icon will turn into a battery level indicator. Next is your internet connection icon. Here, we are connected via Ethernet, but this is also where you would see Wi-Fi and 4G connection icons. Below, you will see the name of your event. This indicates what event will receive your stream once you go live from the Broadcaster Pro. Under the event name is the selected streaming quality. Now let's take a look at the menu, which you can access by pressing the joystick. The first option is Event. Press the joystick to see a list of events on your Livestream account. Use the joystick to select an event. Next is Quality. The Broadcaster Pro has a variety of single bitrate quality options for streaming. Use the joystick to toggle and select a quality. The following option is Video Input, where you can adjust your incoming video format and aspect ratio. The Broadcaster Pro typically detects both of these automatically, but you can set them manually if you wish. Next is Audio Input, which allows you to change where your audio is coming from, either HDMI, Line-In, or None. You can also choose whether your incoming audio is stereo or mono. After that is your Connection menu, where you can change your internet connection method and connection status. Under the Account menu, you can view the paired account info and unpair the Broadcaster Pro from that account. Next is Stream Mode, which gives you the option to use the Broadcaster Pro to stream to your Livestream events, or use it as a source with Livestream Studio software. The last option in the main menu is Broadcaster, which includes an auto-resume menu. This prompts the Broadcaster to find a new internet connection in case your connection drops. The other option is About, which tells you the firmware version your Broadcaster Pro is running. Your Broadcaster Pro should now be fully configured to go live.